where I... Do you want to come here? Because I don't mind not. moving. I'm obviously not doing anything that even vaguely resembles what I'm looking at. So I'm pointing in the opposite direction. In that case, you've achieved criteria number one that Hugo says, which is... Uh, this was a different painting. Total obstruction. Uh, and then oh, when I came back after the lecture, lecture and I just scraped everything that would scrape. It's a good challenge to see, you know, that on our picture is a bit complex. Yeah. Agricultural, yeah. horticultural sort of foreground, yeah, all resolved love into it. lovely, lovely. And it's good to have a and to test because you fall you fall into a familiar kind of slot and just to have yourself ruffled up a bit and changed. Just so they so they did you go out? Um, um, a bit. Yeah, this no, is a lot of Suddenly, finally, if you can all there's hundreds of people who drop a shot across as well. If you've done it in the class, they might have left it out and then they throw it away. And only so something like 20, 25, 30 yeah. so that stuff is oh, yeah. And, and so when you go to the lab, then you'll get to the how would you put those colours on a palette? So I have, I have, I start with my white. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, I, I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to this, just the way it works. I mean, I, but I, I always put my paints in the same order. I always know where they are. I start with my white, uh, then I have my black, uh, and then I have my next darkest, and then I have my darkest blue or violet. I have my violets, mm -hmm. and then my blues, uh, and then I have my pinks. And then I have my oranges, and I have my greens, and then I have my earth colours, and then I have my very pale neutral colours. But I'm not having all of those on my pad at any one time. But that's how they get laid out. I think, it, you know, there isn't a, there's, there's, there's no prescription here. You have, but I would organise your palette in a way which works for you. Maybe you have your, you know, all your blues and greens together, then you have your oranges and yellows together, then you have your earth colours. condition of your eye, yes. And the colour next door. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to put those two there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take those out. So this is a. This is a. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> that puts uh, right there. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. in addition to everything we've just talked about, temperature, value, saturation, hue, we have a whole other issue, which is translucency. When you mix two colours together without white, you get a pure transparent colour. Mm. When you add a little white, you get a very opaque, much darker version of that colour. Mm. And when you add a lot of white, the colour changes completely. I know. I know. Some of the greatest love poetry from Shakespeare to Matthew Arnold to W.B. Yeats has been composed in sonnet form. Yeah. And the, some of the greatest freedom of emotional expression is in the very restricted formal verse. Um, all here? Yeah, yeah. I think this is Brendan. Yeah. Tell us about the experience of, of going from this exercise this morning, and now, what, what were you thinking when Sorry. you were making your brush marks? Uh, well, I remembered lots of stuff we'd been looking at this morning, um, 
which isn't actually in the sketches, things like the curly path from yes. the top of the steep hill, yeah. Yeah. I loved. Yeah. So that was three brush strokes used there. Yeah. Um, 